Barry. How are you going today? Hey, I'm a property investor and what happens if I want to sell my property investment? Okay, lots of things to think about in this question. First up, you've got tenants quiet enjoyment to consider. Tenants quiet enjoyment is paramount in their tenancy. But before we even go there, let's think about whether it's a fixed term or a periodic tenancy. A fixed term means that they've taken on an agreement with you to be in that property from one point to another point. Now, tenants' rights come first under a fixed term tenancy. They have the right to be in that property through this process, even if you sell the property. The property must be sold with a sitting tenant, which is the existing tenant under a fixed term tenancy. But taking a step back, before we even go there, we need to think about how do we get the tenant to work with us to allow such things as access to your property, access to real estate agents, opportunity to do open homes, etc. One of the things you may want to consider is some sort of rent reduction. You also need to think about such things as getting agreement for certain times of the day, week, weekend that you can get access to show potential purchases of your property. Just a couple of things that you really, really need to focus on in fa as far as getting the tenant on board. Remember, a tenant who's working with you is going to make it so much easier for you to potentially be able to sell the property. Now, as a periodic tenancy, some different rules apply. The first thing, as a periodic tenancy, at the end or when you get an unconditional agreement on your property, you can give the tenants 42 days notice of vacation requirements. So that's 42 days once the property becomes unconditionally for sale or sold. Now, on the other hand, the tenant can give you 21 days notice of intent to vacate. So when you first go to the tenant, you may run the risk of them wanting to move out of that property within that 21 days or giving you notice of 21 days right on the spot. So at the end of the day, just be aware of these things. It's most important that you understand that these things can happen. But either way, the key thing is bringing the tenants along with you for the ride to make it as easy as possible in the process of disposal of your property through the sale process. Okay, so what happens if I just want to move into my property? Okay, there's not a whole lot of options available for you. In saying that, if it's not the property is not for sale, and you don't have a fixed term tenancy and there's some other reasons that, um, unforeseen reasons, you can issue a 90 day notice of vacation to the tenant. But that's only as a periodic tenancy. As I said before, as a fixed term tenancy, the tenant has agreed to be in your property at a price per week, per fortnight, per month, over a period of time from the start to the finish of a fixed term. So you are bound by those rules. The only way that you can get out of a fixed term tenancy is willing tenant willing owner, i.e. you'll be around there talking with the tenant and seeing if you can find an agreement between both parties that enables them to move out before the fixed term expires. Under a periodic tenancy, you can issue a 90 day notice of intent to move back into the property. Now, we operate everywhere in Auckland, so if you're looking for any help around that, we can certainly help you operate Waitakere, we operate North Shore, we operate City, we operate South. We're all over the show, so certainly could help you if you have any willingness to work with us. Phone numbers 09 373 5400 0275 61448. That's 0275 61448 for me direct. My email address barry at quinovic-newton.co.nz or you can email inquiries at quinovic-newton.co.nz and finally do you want to know more about myself and my company and my people www.quinovic-newton.co.nz love to hear from you thank you